Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about those nasty black bars on video. Okay, let's talk about some basic things like the frame size. The frame has an aspect ratio of the width and the height. Uh, most people just work with 16 by nine, but there are some odd um, 4K and above frame sizes that don't nicely fit inside an HD frame. Then I wanna show you something I've never experienced before and how I fixed it, because it was really weird. Hopefully I can get it to, to happen again uh, today. So uh, let's just have a look at this timeline. This is a typical HD timeline and uh, you can see I'm at 100% scale here. Anything less than, than 100% is going to give me black bars, but of course HD and HD is fine. This is a red file that's 5,020 by 2560, basically 5K with a 1.0 pixel aspect ratio. I've got a whole tutorial that I'll link to at the end about pixel aspect ratio, also called PAR. So let's drag this sucker into here. And when, of course, when we do, it's gigantic and you might be right clicking and choosing set to frame size. And when you do, it fits to one size and then we get those dark bars. That's because the frame size, the aspect ratio of that 5K frame is not the same. It's not 16 by nine. So you can fix that by going up to your, your effects controls, twirling down motion, going to scale and turning this up to fill the screen. Okay, that's pretty basic. And you can do that for anything to reframe something and just be careful you're not uh, blowing this up too high if it's if it's a lower quality video. This is all gigantic. We're nowhere near 100%, so it's gonna look fine. Now let's look at this little uh, nasty thing. So I dragged and dropped all these clips for a previous tutorial that I did. And then when I got to this gosh darn plane, wasn't fitting. So I dragged the plane into a a, uh, an HD sequence and it fit. And then I went over here and I looked and I went back to my sequence settings and sure enough, it's 1920, 1080. Um, and it says it's square pixels. So I could not figure out what was wrong. This was driving me nuts. Wait a minute, both the plane and the other clips are all the same pixel aspect ratio or are they? If you look over here, you'll notice that they're not. The other clips are 1.3427, which I have never heard of. So um, what I tried to do was I tried to re-export this out as an HD and a, uh, an output and bring it back in and it kept doing the same thing. So I hope I can fix it by doing this. Let, let's try this. In your sequence settings, at the bottom, you have a preview format, and the preview format will change depending on what media you've created um, or you've selected. Right now, it's iframe um, MPEG. You choose anything different like QuickTime, click OK, and you get a warning that the preview files will uh, be deleted. I click OK, and look, it fixed it. Did I resize anything? No. And if I wanted to, I could go back to those sequence settings, turn this darn thing back to iframe, click OK, and look, it now fits in there perfectly. Because one of the great things about Premiere Pro is it doesn't, um, you don't have to have an exact frame size and sequence size. Premiere Pro uh, will uh, change the frames, it will add, it will do, uh, three, two, pull down automatically. It's, it's freaking magic till it ain't magic. And then you got to do that. I also noticed uh, someone else that I work closely with, Adrian, had the same problem and I was scratching my head. So go and delete the damn preferences uh, or previews and it fixes. Now here's the goofiest part. I didn't render this timeline. I didn't hit enter or go to the sequence menu, render into out. I dragged those clips into the sequence and it, it had black bars. Change the preview, no black bars. I don't know. It's like, uh, um, uh, Christmas vacation. 
I don't know, she falls down a well and her, her eyes go cross, comes out of a well and gets, uh, gets kicked by a, a mule and her eyes go, that's what this is. That's how crazy this is. So just file this away in the back of your head. If you ever have this kind of craziness happen, change those preferences and you should be golden. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and I just saved your hiney, uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, take a moment to uh, subscribe. It means a lot to us. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through our website, videoreveal.com. There's uh, a link there to donate once, or monthly, any number of uh, that you want. And there's a bunch of free stuff in our store and some other things to buy. All right. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'm the guy taking all the punches for you and fixing this stuff so you don't have to go through this hell.